Coach, can you give us the format today and how you're planning on doing this for the athletes? Well, we're we're going to go like eight play sequences today, running some plays, move the ball, and then uh, what we're going to do is, is uh, intermix eight different special teams events, which we're doing right now. We've got a, a punt going and against our punt return team, and then we'll, we'll mix in about six punts, two kickoffs, and some assorted field goals with about, hopefully, about 64 plays of football in between all that. Is this first, first against first? Yeah, that, that's the way we always match it up, and, and then we just intermix it as we go. Thank you. Thank Have you. Good, good to see everybody. Assistant head coach Jay Losey, take my glasses off. Assistant head coach Jay Loss, Losey, and tight ends. This year, you lose Joe Hallahooney. Yes. You got three young guys that look pretty incredible right now, plus Kobe Prince, who might be the best blocking tight end in the league. Well, I think Kobe's established himself as being a guy, an every down tight end, and that's what we're hoping to see tremendous leadership. And uh, Connor Hamlet's developed, and then we got, like you said, three young kids that I think are showing great, great promise. Good opportunity for a lot of young kids to, to step into the starting lineup. Anything in spring ball tell you who they are? You know what, uh, Colby, Colby for sure, you know what I'm saying? And then I think we're still trying to sort out everything else. So Thanks a million. You Let's bet. Back All right, it. thanks, Thank Steve. you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Coach Langsdorf, offensive coordinator. Lots of changes in the offensive line. Are you able to get the work you want in? Yeah, we... Uh, we are a little thin today, and we've been that way all spring, but we've, we're getting a lot of good work for the guys that are here, and uh, hopefully we can bring in some reinforcements in the fall. Lots of good running plaque play. They're, they look very good and a lot of different talent. Yeah, there's a really good group there. We've got a lot of kids that are getting reps today. Uh, we've got good speed at that position and, and a lot of experience too, so we're excited about that group. This is a year where you've got tremendous skill positions, wide receiver, the running backs, the quarterbacks experienced. Should be a year where you can put some points up there. Yeah, we'd hope so. You know, we <laughs> got to uh, block them up front and make some plays in the perimeter, but we've got a good group of receivers and the quarterbacks are playing well. So we, uh, we take care of business up front, we'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks a million, Coach. Trent Bray, great football player in your own right. Been coaching in the Pac-10, youngest coach in the Pac-10, Pac-12 last year. You're back as a graduate assistant coaching the linebackers. Yeah, it's been good. Good to be back. Uh, got a good group, so I'm excited about it. Uh, you've got a pretty stable group, too, that have played before, a lot of, lot of uh, talent, a lot of, in addition, experience. I thought you were talking about mentally stable, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's been good. They got experience last year, so we're trying to build off that. Can you uh, turn them into a Trent Bray? Oh, I hope they're better than that. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot, Coach. Great to have you back. Running backs coach, Chris Brassfield. You've got some kids, a lot of kids, looking for the number one. Any change in the spring or any decisions? Well, guys will be getting an equal amount of reps, working pretty hard, trying to figure out what we're doing. Uh, got a lot of young guys with some talent, so we've got to give them all a chance, and we'll see what happens when we get ready for fall camp. You've got five to seven kids you're playing with. Right. Yeah, all these guys, they, came, they come ready to go, and uh, they're focused. They've had a good spring, so it's kind of fun today to let them all have a chance to play real football. They play the same kind of football here that they did at TCU? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we play good ball here at Oregon State. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Here with defensive coordinator Mark Banker. Coach, you have two new coaches this year on your staff. What does that do to how you're coaching as far as positions go? Well, uh, like you interviewed, I heard you interviewed Trent a little while ago. He's got the linebackers. Uh, Rod Perry's a secondary coach with Mitch Muston also coaching the safeties with him. And, of course, Joe's got the defensive line. Rod Perry uh, goes way back with you. Yeah, we were to together on the uh, San Diego Chargers staff, and uh, I was added to that staff and uh, split the secondary with, with Rod. Rod was a secondary coach, and I coached the uh, corners and nickels and dimes, and uh, we had a great relationship there, and uh, it's just gr good to have him back here now. Speaking of quarters and nickels and dimes, I see you playing a lot of five- and six-man six defensive backs. Well, in anticipation for a new recruiting class coming in, we've got a couple kids that we think we can add to the mix. Uh, the way offenses have gone with the uh, spread offenses and, of course, uh, you know, with some of the new coaches that have come to the conference, uh, we're adapting our scheme. Uh, still the same philosophy, same uh, type of uh, calls front-wise front and, and coverage-wise that we've played, but uh, just different athletes substituting in and playing those positions. With the new coaches, you're coordinating more as opposed to pitching coach. 
I thought I was coordinating before. I don't know. But uh, I guess that might be debatable. But yeah, it gives me more time uh, uh, to develop uh, the scheme as well as uh, just keep an eye on, on everything. And uh, uh, with the position coaches that we've had, of course, the addition of, uh, like I said, with Trent and uh, Mitch, who have played in the system, uh, you just feel confident that uh, day in and day out, the job's getting done as far as the uh, fundamentals of each position is concerned. Enthusiasm, very high from what I've seen in spring ball. Oh, it's been really good. I think this team likes playing together, you know, offensively and defensively. And that's, uh, that's really, we're about to get our hit over here. Uh, but it's, uh, it's been uh, very good from a standpoint of the team, uh, their chemistry, and that needs to continue to develop uh, on into the season to carry that enthusiasm. I better let you go back to coaching here before we both get killed. Yeah, well, that and then, you know, I've seen Trent with his feet up on my desk, you know, recently, and now he's calling the signals down there, and uh, so I better go find out what's going on, see if I still have a job. That's a scary thought. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Receivers coach Brennan, you've got a difficult problem this year. You've got way too many great talents. Yeah, pretty excited about the group. The, uh, the two guys that are back, Cooks and Wheaton, uh, something to build on, experienced. Uh, Marcus Wheaton is certainly one of the stars in this league. Yeah, and, and Marcus has had a great spring. He's been playing his butt off, running fast, playing fast, making plays down the field. So he's been great, and, and Cooks con continues to grow and learn, and, and he's got all that speed and quickness, and we're just finding ways to get him the football and, and make plays for us. Young, young talent. You've got four or five kids who who uh, are playing down the road and will play for Oregon State down the road. Have you ever had this much in the way of young talent? No, I'm pretty excited. I mean, outside of Marcus, the group is really young. Yeah. You know, we're going to have Cookie and Wheat and, oh. and for another couple years, another three years, and, and, and boom. And uh, Kevin Cummins has had a great spring. So I'm pretty excited. And Richard Mullaney hurt his thumb the other day, but he's been making a bunch of plays too. So it, there's a lot of stuff to be excited about. Thanks a million, Coach. No Appreciate it. Thank you. Rod Perry, Oregon State's new corners and secondary coach. You've been in the uh, NFL for most of the last 35 years. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about as old as you. <laughs> yes, I've been blessed to be able to be in the NFL for that long length of time. A great player, many years as a coach. What's it like now coming back to the college game? Well, I've been excited about the opportunity to come back to coaching the student athletes, get a chance to get them from a younger age and be help develop them both on and off the field. So from that point of view, I've been very, very excited to get a chance to be back with Coach Riley and Coach Banker. You've got a couple of experienced people on the corners. That really helps, I would presume, in building the program and getting the young kids involved. Yes, it does. You know, you have to have a combination of rush plus cover, and you need to have corners outside that can hold up in one-on-one. -on -one. One of the most technically sound coaches and players ever. Well, thanks very much, Steve. All right. Coach Cav, you lose three seniors. They graduate. A lot of new faces, some injuries. Are you able to put this thing together in the spring, or is it really a fall deal? Well, you know, we had a lot of good work in there in the spring here, and uh, obviously we were looking forward to the fall, so it's wide open. But you got some talent that's there and that's played. Andrew, Kel Kelly has played a lot. Uh, you've got some people to build on. Uh, no question. You know, obviously with Grant and uh, Kelly being out this spring, Colin was kind of limited and he got some work, but it would have been great to have both those guys for spring practice. You've been practicing with eight uh, linemen that are on the list. Yeah, we've had eight, and they've gotten a lot of work, especially today, so it's been fun. Are you able to, to accomplish as much with that few bodies? It's been super. You know, we could get to concentrate on technique, and the kids are getting a lot of reps, so it's been good. You got an intern. Is he helping you, Kyle Devan? He's been awesome. I can't wait till the fall with him. Nothing like a guy that's played in the big leagues. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Go Beef.